People with tumors, cancer, heart surgeries, all denied care by Indian Health Care. All the while, 2 News investigator Marla Carter made a discovery that has members of Congress investigating just how their money is spent. Marla? Just for two months, the Tunis investigators have been examining Indian Health Care Services. It's funded by the federal government. When the IHS hospital here in Claremore can't perform a service, it's contracted out. But our investigation found four out of five times funding for those procedures is denied. Meet Sophie. She's everything to her grandpa. I've always been able to take care of her and pick her up, but now I'm to the point where I can't. Clyde Turner has a condition where fluid backs up into his heart. He ended up in the ER at Claremore Indian Hospital and needed to see a specialist. But the outsourced care was denied due to lack of funds. The same thing happened to Marquita Lyons. She needed a biopsy. In Carter, Cleveland, he had a brain tumor. He was denied to see a specialist, a $100 expense. All the while, the two news investigators discovered administrators at Claremore Indian Hospital received bonuses. Two $1,300 bonuses, all while others, like Clyde, are denied. There's no way. If they don't have money, they shouldn't be getting a bonus. We took that to Oklahoma Congressman Tom Cole. Is that something that really should be evaluated? Uh, well, it should be. A reason why? We didn't do that in veterans' health care, and we found ourselves paying bonuses for care that really wasn't happening. As for Clyde, he signed up for private insurance and is now getting care and hopes one day to be able to pick up his granddaughter again. I just want to get well, take care of my family, and move forward. Now, there's another issue that we brought to Congressman Cole's attention, something that could save thousands, even millions. It's prompted him to do some digging. That's coming up tomorrow on 2 News at 5. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. All right.